Deer Creek Audio, your trusted technical resource. Crossovers, parametric equalization, and Dirac Live are three of the most powerful tools found in the Mini DSP product line that includes the 2x4 HD, Flex, and SHD series. With the advanced device console application software, you are able to use these tools to create a unique live sound experience tailored to your system. This blog provides an overview of the various types of crossover applications that you can apply using Mini DSP's device console. This first crossover example uses a Mini DSP Flex 8 and an active three-way speaker system that includes stereo subwoofers. We will create a four-way crossover beginning with the tweeter and then progressing through mid-range, woofer, and subwoofer. This diagram shows how to set up the routing matrix and device console, with the left and right tweeters on outputs 1 and 2, mid-ranges on outputs 3 and 4, woofers on outputs 5 and 6, and subwoofers on outputs 7 and 8. For convenience, we will link the crossovers for the tweeters, mid-ranges, and woofers as pairs. In this diagram, we link the crossover on output 1 to output 2 so the tweeters match each other. The linking function is found in the menu section of each crossover configuration page. The high-pass crossover for the tweeter in our example is a 5 kHz Butterworth 24 dB per octave filter. The next step is to add the bandpass filter for the mid-range. First, we add a 5 kHz Butterworth 24 dB per octave low-pass crossover. This is a classic symmetrical mid-range to tweeter crossover example. To complete the mid-range band pass filter, we add a 500 Hz high-pass crossover. We now have a 500 Hz to 5 kHz Butterworth 24 dB per octave band pass filter. Next, we add a 50 Hz to 500 Hz band pass filter for the woofer. The reason the woofer has a high-pass crossover is because in this example, the system also includes a subwoofer. Finally, we add a 50 Hz low-pass crossover for the subwoofer. You can now observe that the frequency duties of each driver have been somewhat equally distributed. We have chosen these crossover points because they are compatible with the operating ranges of each of the selected drivers. A crossover that integrates your subwoofers is one of the most critical tuning tools available to optimize your 2.1 or 2.2 system. The following example is for a flex-based 2.1 stereo system. Here, the crossover integrates the main speakers on outputs 1 and 2, with the subwoofer on output 3. The resulting single subwoofer is monorealized by summing input channels 1 and 2. First, we add the high-pass crossover for the main speakers. The high-pass crossover for the full-range speaker is an 80 Hz Butterworth 24 dB per octave. Later, we will explore other crossover configurations. Next, we add the low-pass crossover for the subwoofer. This diagram shows a textbook 80 Hz Butterworth 24 dB per octave crossover. This variation is an asymmetrical crossover that has a soft, gradual high-pass for the main speakers, and a very sharp low-pass for the subwoofers. This has two positive effects. First, it allows the main speakers, especially those with larger woofers, to extend their range, and helps to reduce room mode effects, giving a greater bass presence. Second, the steep subwoofer crossover limits distortion. Finally, we add a subsonic filter to the subwoofer crossover that is just above the useful range of the subwoofer. This helps to reduce excessive cone excursion and heat dissipation. When using the Mini DSP 2x4 HD to add multiple subwoofers to your home theater system, you have several options. You can choose to use the low-pass crossover in your audio video receiver that would be compatible with your subwoofers and main speakers, such as 80 Hz. Or you could choose to turn off the AVR low-pass crossover for the subwoofer, or set it to its highest value, then use the low-pass crossover within the Mini DSP. The advantage to using the filter in the Mini DSP is that you have much more flexibility over the filter shape and slope. 
following are a few examples with the main speaker set in the AVR to an 80Hz high-pass crossover and some options for various low-pass subwoofer crossovers. This first diagram shows the classic 80Hz Butterworth 24dB per octave high and low-pass crossover that is found in most AVRs. This is usually used in conjunction with large main front speakers. Using the Mini DSP low-pass crossover, you can create a much sharper low-pass cutoff. This helps minimize subwoofer distortion. This is a very soft low-pass roll-off for the subwoofer, which can add significant mid-bass punch. It's definitely worth experimenting with to see if you like it. If your system utilizes multiple subwoofers of significantly varying designs, you need to take their individual bandpass characteristics into consideration when choosing the subwoofer crossover points. This example shows one subwoofer with significantly less low frequency capability than the other, and the resulting crossovers applied to each. High and low pass filters can be applied to enhance the performance of your overall audio system. These enhancements come in the form of improved system distortion, tighter bass, and smoother treble response. This diagram shows adding a high-pass filter to a full-range speaker. The filter can be selected to be very close, or just above the natural roll-off of the target speaker, and provides improved bass tightness, lower distortion, and increased power amplifier efficiency. This example applies to full-range speakers as well as subwoofers. An extreme high-frequency filter can be added to limit any potential energy above the audible frequency range from entering your amplifier and speakers. A low-pass filter at 16.5 kHz will mimic the performance of many popular tube amplifiers. This filter gives a warm, enjoyable sound and also can help reduce the fatigue of some horn tweeters. You can experiment with various slopes, as shown here, to find what works best for you.